Green Bay Packers. Greatest NFL team, probably the Green Bay Packers. They had a great coach, great players. If you weren't rooting for the Packers, they were boring to watch. The 60 resigned and then uh, finished the season. era of football with their legendary work ethic and brutal play. Those guys were athletes who basically played football during the football season. Just join us from other programming. It is 2-2 early on. The Aggies now take a 4-2 lead on Kavaloskis. Oh, terrific move yeah. right there. But Kavaloskis, the natural right-hander, used that left hand nicely to kiss it off the glass. Greg Lucas here along with Jim Howler. We are at Reed Arena. Final game of the Shelby Metcalf tournament. First in this classic that ever has been held. And the Aggies, St. Louis, both unbeaten through two and three overall. Both of shot partly blocked and picked off by the Aggies. Here comes the point man Law back down the court. Well, that block was by Josh Carter, the outstanding sophomore shooter. Yeah, Velasquez has it slammed by Vyukas, well, the big <laughs> senior from Greece. I don't let that block surprise you. Last night, St. Louis U set a new school record with 12 blocks in their ball game against Louisiana Tech. Aggies still leading by two. Kirk for the ball. Law. Has the one basket for Texas, or one of the two. Carlos is into junk, and he is fouled from behind. Looks like Polk is going to get the call for trying to strip it away, and that is going to be the call. Polk, Polk may have picked up the foul, but that was nice offside defense. You can see him coming over to help on Jones inside, but uh, picked up the hack. Jones has uh, been very consistent. He's averaging 18 points, tops on the team this year, 19 against Tech, uh, Louisiana Tech, 19 against Lamar in this tournament. 16 against Purdue in their opening win. But Joe Jones is so consistent. He's been that way ever since his first game as a freshman. He's played in 63 ball games for Texas A&M and has started all 63 of them. Only one other Aggie can say that. Dominic Kirk has been in 64 games and started all of them. He doesn't get the second one, and the rebound comes down to Vajukas. It's 5-2, to three-point lead by in and largest lead of the game. We've been tied once at 2, 16.47 to go in the first half. Liddell gets a step on Carter. Now can't take the shot. Carter recovers. Yukas makes a muscle move. Might have gotten away with an extra step, but a great defensive play by Kavalaskis. Here good. comes Kirk laying it up the wall. Jones. Can't get it over the top of the big man. Now, that's Hoshak. Was that Hoshak on yeah, the defensive that's side? A big Terrific, guy. very disciplined defense. Didn't leave his feet. Kept his position well. Hoshak, the guy who's getting his first start of the year because Coach Soderberg wanted to put a little more size in the lineup against this Aggie team with the two big guys up front. Liddell is slammed by Kamalaskis, and the ball comes off to Law. What a well, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice offside help by Kavalaskis, moving very well. Junior college transfer last year from Barton County, Juco, up in Kansas. Log end goes with the right hand, but Vyukas gets the rebound on the miss, and here comes Polk. Coach Gillespie was very worried about transition defense coming into this game. He thinks Polk does a nice job getting the ball up the floor for the Billikens. They're working out of corner. Hushak trying to set a screen for him, but it disappears. Polk now makes a quick move to the lane as the ball knocked loose. Has to dribble it out. Good defense here, not allowing St. Louis to get a clear look. Eight on the shot clock. Good help by the shots to stepping out there. And Thomas they won't get one. Lost his terrific help defense. Credit to Big Fella for the help off the screen. Outstanding defense. And we've got a timeout on the court. It's a struggle early both ways. 15-13 to go and a half. The Yankees lead it 5-2. to two. This great land must feed the mind and the soul of their students. They must develop strong leaders with integrity, character, and honor. I chose such a place for my presidential library, a unique American institution. Texas A&M University is one of the nation's top academic and research institutions, but it's the Aggie spirit that defines us. I'm proud to be part of this school, proud to be an Aggie. Out of business? Then you need the advantage of credit and debit card services from IMS. We can potentially increase your sales 30 to 40 percent or more. Business really picked up once I got my charge system from IMS, and the rates were really low. Why not grow with the very best? 
After all, we process millions of credit card transactions every year from the biggest retailers in the business. And with over a billion dollars in transactions, we can get your business up and running faster to dramatically increase your sales by accepting credit cards. If you're not using IMS to accept credit cards, then you're paying way too much. My IMS terminal adds thousands to my bottom line every month. It's like my secret business partner. Call or go online now for these special TV offers. Start making more from your business today. Act now for your own custom gift card program, free with your merchant system. It's your own stored value card that builds repeat sales and makes your business look bigger. 800-568-9137. Tracing. You're watching FSN Southwest. Five to two, the Aggies lead St. Louis here with uh, 15-13 to go in the uh, first half of play. This Billiken team has been averaging 83, almost 83 points a game. The Yankees have been averaging 83 points a game. The Billikens have been shooting 50%, the Yankees 51%, so that's one reason, or a couple reasons, why both teams are 3-0, and especially since you can compare their schedules because they both played two common opponents in this very tournament, and they both had uh, relatively, well, they were. They were relatively easy wins in yep. both cases. And those other two opponents Greg talks about, Lamar University from Beaumont, Texas, and Louisiana Tech from Ruston, Louisiana, both very talented ball clubs. They played an earlier game here today. Thank Lamar so Tech got the victory by three over Louisiana Tech. Actually, it was uh, probably about the best game of the affair. Went right down to the final shot. Texas A&M with a basketball. Jones sets a screen for Law. Fall away. In. His second basket. And it's up to a five-point lead. For the viewers that have not seen the Texas Aggies play, I know we've got a bunch of folks watching from Missouri. Yes, that is a knuckleball-looking shot that A.C. Law throws up there. I know St. Louis is a great baseball city. He just takes a different kind of shot, but it goes in. List tries to go through four. That was a mistake. Here comes Law. Polk back to defend. Law is defended by Polk, but the ball goes off Polk's shoulder out of bounds. That was a great defensive play by Polk. Uh, terrific. When you can get back and transition defense like Polk does here, under control, got all hand on that ball. Nice job by the little fella. Aggies get it inbound to Jones. And Polk is about 5'9". They see Law 6'3". So you see the advantage of Law thought he may have had. Here's Perk. Swing into Jones. Left-hander short, and the rebound comes down to St. Louis. One shot, and Jones is having to get rid of it very quickly. Texas A&M, Greg, spent a lot of time working on that entry pass in their practice this morning, so that was not unexpected to see them try to get it in quick to Jones on the block. The Yukas is fouled by Kavalaskis. Second team foul. Hilligans will inbound the ball under the hoop to the right. Quickly to Lish, left-handed basket as he just took advantage, and he gets his first two. He has averaged uh, 19 points in the three games this year. He's got four points in this one. He's got the four that St. Louis has on the board. Nice job by Lish there to beat the Aggie defense down to the block on the out-of-bounds down, out of bounds play. That certainly draws the ire of Coach Billy Gillespie, who uh, emphasizes defense first and foremost. Law for three. AC Law off to an early start in many games. Law will not score as much early and come on a little bit late, but here the opportunity is there and he gets seven points. Liddell, three-pointer. Now, Tommy Liddell, I mentioned in our open today, very, very versatile, terrific ball handler, good passer. So his outside shooting there, but he got 17 rebounds in the Billikens' first victory of the year. There's Kamalakis from outside. Didn't look good there. Jones looked good inside, and he gets the follow for his first basket. He has three points, and it's a 12-7 score. Nice job of positioning himself in the paint there between the two big seven-footers for St. Louis U. Polk being watched by Law. Blows by and tries to pass it down low. It's kicked away. Now we've got a foul on the scramble for the loose ball. He's going to be on 2-1. That's the foul on Lish, his first. Second team foul. Got some changes now. Kirk is getting an instruction, but Meyer has come into the game for St. Louis. This is Luke Meyer. He had started all the games up to this point. 
junior out of Washington, Missouri, averages 11 points a game, 6'5", so they lose a little bit of height. Yeah, he's their normal fifth starter, Greg, and all five of their starters averaging in double figures except for Pope, the fourth guard. And the basket inside by A.C. Law just moves to the basket, and he's off to a hot start. Yeah, and he took that right against the Uyakas that time inside, just attacked the big fella, 6'10", 270. Nice dump-off pass from Bielkas to uh, Liddell, and he is fouled as he tried to put the ball up. He'll get a couple of shots here. Watch A.C. Law. You can see not only how quick he is, but how strong he is going right up at Bielkas right there. Nice kiss off the glass. Terrific penetration. And once again, changing it to the right hand. You can't play him as a left-hander, particularly in close to the basket, because he will change hands. Here's Liddell. At the free throw line, he'll have two shots. He's an 8-for-10 free throw shooter this season. Aggie fans try to distract, but the concentration's right there. Nothing but net for the southpaw. Two lefties in the starting lineup for St. Louis U. Adele is East St. Louis High School, and then Hargrave Military Academy. Atlantic 10 Rookie of the Year as a freshman. That was last year, as he gets both free throws. He has five points. It's a five-point game. 14 to nine. AC Law with a foul away. Hit when he's shooting, and the foul will be on, on Lish. That's his second, and Law is sizzling. Well, you think the guy's got his confidence going? Terrific right there. Good defense. St. Louis defender right there. Chest to chest, Lish right where he's supposed to be. But A.C. Law, the long arms, the quick release. Thing about A.C. Law, he shoots the ball at the height of his jump. And he misses the free throw. He'd been very good there. He'd been 9 for 11, but he'll have to settle for two at a seven-point lead. You mentioned he's good on free throws. This Texas Aggie team comes in shooting 79% for the year. So that's outstanding. St. Louis shooting 70% coming into this game. Well, you just tries to move the inside now spin fakes a spin move because Vasquez stays with him and a hip foul block away by Jones good help on the defense here's Kirk now Velasquez can't take it Jones can but he foul on the court Texas A&M and continuing Hushak, Greg to do a good job entry passes into the block John Hushak his first team foul fourth we got a timeout it's 16-9, Aggies with 11.42 to go, first half. Time to make your wish list, and you can start at Classic Lincoln Mercury of Denton. I'm Kenneth Wood, sales manager, and I want to gift wrap a new Lincoln or Mercury for you today. Pick your color and drive home a Lincoln LT for only $3.99 per month, or the all-new Lincoln Navigator for only $4.99 per month. And just look, the new MKZ for just $2.99 per month. If the new Mercury you're looking for, I've got the Mercury in the lawn for only $1.99 per month. Let me wrap up a new Lincoln or Mercury for you today from Classic Lincoln Mercury of Denton. Relax and enjoy the difference. Hi, folks, it's me, Hilton, Baby Paris, and Baby Hilton here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress announcing our big price cut sale. Oh, no, Hilton, we're cutting prices, not Baby Paris's hair. No, Baba. <laughs> cutting prices are cutting hair, Houston. Now featuring Paris Jade Collection. You have to see it to believe it. The quality, the value, the great service. Only here at Hilton Furniture and Mattress. I-45 South, exit Fuquay, next to Al. Meet them all. Big price cut sale. That's the fat yeah. FSN Southwest packs in the football this Saturday. It starts at 10 with full coverage of the Bedlam in Oklahoma, followed by college football Saturday kickoff. Then at 1.30, Oklahoma battles Oklahoma State for statewide bragging rights. At 5, Pac-10 rivals Arizona State and Arizona tear up the gridiron. Then wrap up the night with Southwest Football Saturday and that weekly dose of hardcore football. Watch college football this Saturday on FSN Southwest. This, of course, is the Shelby Metcalf Classic, named after the 27-year coach here of the Aggies, who uh, ended his career as the all-time winningest coach in the Southwest Conference. And since the league shut down, he will always be that. And, Jim, you go back, uh, way back, because your coaching career started on his staff. Well, and it's an honor for me to be able to be here today to be part of this Shelby Metcalf Classic. There's never been a man that deserved an honor more than Shelby. I always felt like... Texas A&M really never did enough to recognize what Shelby meant to basketball, not only at this school, the state of Texas and the entire Southwest Conference, 
I loved working for him. We were able to stay friends for many, many years, still are. Just uh, it's too bad Shelby couldn't be here today, having some uh, medical difficulties right now, but certainly all our, our prayers and thoughts are with Shelby to get well quick. And you know, it's only fitting that they have an in-season classic named after him because as you well know, when he coached, he took those Aggies to more in-season early tournaments than any coach in no, basketball. You're exactly. And during his career, I know he told me that he played in 75 tournaments. The last year he ever coached, he played in five tournaments. One in Maine, one in Alaska, and one down in Florida. So he loved it. As there's a whistle on inside of the basket, there's going to be a uh, foul inside on the Aggies. Looks like maybe Carter. The other story you got to tell is the fact that when you play in all those tournaments, they usually give everybody a memento. Oh, yeah. He had a whole box. One up. time, Shelby showed me a box. He had about 60 watches in one box. <laughs> and then carrying on to the basketball angle, he 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 would love and, and loves these two teams playing here today because they play his style of basketball, very physical and tough. They're getting it up the court. They're not scoring much because the defense has been very physical and tough. Well, Texas A&M shooting 50%, a 7 out of 14. Uh, South St. Louis only 2 out of 7. Aggies have doubled them up on shot attempts because St. Louis has five turnovers to the Aggies only one. Well, you see how tough that shot was for Bayoukas. It wasn't really an easy shot. He didn't get it down. Carter has the ball now. Aggies have it back. A.C. Law brings it off to Davis who came into the game. Brian Davis, who just passed the ball down as one of the most ballyhooed freshmen in the Big 12 Conference this year. There's a turn defensive play by the Billikens. Liddell has it stopped by Carter. Picked up by Vujukas. Cross-court swing. Nowhere to go. Polk will try to penetrate. Throws it up off the glass, taps it himself, can't get it, the rebound comes down to Texas A&M Carter. Yeah, that's Brian Davis got that rebound. That's the freshman, 6'9", 240-pounder. He's going to be a dandy. Just needs the experience. Law will try to take Polk back out to Kavalaskis, keep that pivot foot in spot. Law, quick release, using a height advantage there. There's another example. He's really trying to take advantage of the height break he has on Polk, who's 5'9", and it certainly paid off early. Uh, it just amazes me. A.C. Law's shot has no rotation on the ball. Mentioned a while ago, it looks like a knuckleball. That shot's got to be just about perfect to go in the hole. Nice dribble drive to the hole. A basket for Luke Meyer, his first two points. Yep. First time today we have not seen good offside defensive help for the Texas Aggies. There was no rotation there. The Aggies lead is seven with 9.36 to go in the first half. Davis, one of the Lupin and Kavalaskis, can't go. Finally get it to him on the box from Kirk. Back out on the wing, and three won't go by Carter. The rebound taken down by St. Louis's Liddell. Carter is actually the best pure shooter on this Texas A&M team. He gets the open look. He doesn't miss many. They'll try to work on Law finally gets rid of the ball. Oh, great defense this right there by Dominique Kirk on Brown. Behind the three-point line, having time to set was Meyer, but he couldn't get the shot to fall. Meyer was a one-for-three three-pointer coming into the game. And the Aggies get it back, but we're seeing aggressive defense really on both ends of the ball. The Aggies' side has been so impressive. Law dunks into Kamalaska. It's tough for a big man to handle it, and he couldn't really control it. Here comes Liddell. Hulk for three. Had an opening, couldn't get it, and Carter with a rebound for a and Eight minutes, 37 seconds to go in the half. Still a seven-point Aggie lead. Carter, top of the circle. He's a good shooter, but way off on that one. And nice the rebound job. tracked down by Vujukas. Yeah, nice job of blocking out by the big fellow right there, using his 270 pounds very well. Fidel tried to hopefully get a foul and a shot, but no foul, didn't hit the shot. And the rebound off the law is going to say, I need some oxygen. Let's walk in that court, guys. <laughs> you got to remember now, this is the third consecutive day these teams have played. That's something they're not used to. So uh, you're laughing, but it may be true. <laughs> Kavalaska is working off that box left and blocked by Mayukas. Nice timing. And the ball will go out of bounds, but before it's put in play, we'll have a timeout. Our clock shows seven minutes and 54 seconds to go in the half. War out there. The Aggies lead it 18 to 11. Equipment Warehouse is the largest full-line fireplace store in Texas.
you need to accessorize your fireplace. Featuring hearthstone, wood-burning stoves, and inserts. Fireplace Equipment Warehouse, your complete fireplace store, and more. I'm thinking of a number between 450 and 850. Do you know what it is? It's my credit score, and it happens to be 720. The higher my credit score, the better chance I have of saving a lot of money. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out right now at FreeCreditReport.com. You can even print it out if you want to. How much easier could it get? Log on to FreeCreditReport.com. That's FreeCreditReport.com. Free Credit Report offer applies with enrollment in Triple Advantage. This is an actual reenactment. Mary had just picked up her kids and was heading home to make dinner. Just then, in the blink of an eye, nothing happened. Events like this occur countless times every day. Progressive Direct is doing something about it. Giving real savings to these good drivers. In fact, good drivers who switched to Progressive saved hundreds right away. Fireplace Equipment Warehouse is the largest full-line fireplace store in Texas. We have everything you need to accessorize your fireplace. Featuring hearthstone, wood-burning stoves, and inserts. Fireplace Equipment Warehouse, your complete fireplace store, and more. There you see the score, 18 to 11 of those Aggie 18 points, 13 from AC Law, and it's as though he is shooting with very little fear. Much of the time, Dwayne Polk is on him. Dwayne's a very quick, aggressive type guy, but he isn't going to challenge the jump shot. He's about uh, five inches shorter. Well, I like the term you use, playing without fear. He knows he's got a six-inch height advantage. A.C. Law's got the long arms, but even more important than that, he's quicker than Polk. Even though Polk is 5'9", A.C. Law, jet quick. See him right there getting the step on Lish and beating the St. Louis defenders on the baseline. He's off to a great start. That's why he's a preseason first team all Big 12 selection. He averaged about 15 points last year. He's already scored 13 in this game, and that's over his early season average of 12.7, but his assist, 3.7. He has become a really complete player in his four years here. A.C. Law is actually playing with a lower back injury. Uh, been, he was troubled Friday night at their victory over Lamar. and uh, Came back and played quite a bit yesterday, but Billy Gillespie told me it's still hurting him. David Sloan again gets it off the log, can't get it down this time. And the rebound comes off to the Blue Plant Billigans. Danny Brown is the double-figure scorer off the bench for this team. Hadn't scored yet, hadn't taken a shot yet. Dumps it inside to Hushak, who misses the lefty, and Kavalaskis with the rebound. Well, that was a nice job by Brown coming right into the game, penetrating to the middle of the floor, getting a nice entry pass. Away from the basket, we have a hold. It will be on uh, the Kia Corps, the freshman from Houston playing for St. Louis. You know, isn't this, uh, isn't this unusual? Right here in College Station, Texas, 90 miles from Houston, we've got two St. Louis Billikens on the floor now from, uh, from Houston. That's one of the reasons why a lot of these coaches like to play in tournaments like this close to where they've gotten players because they may get more. Yeah, Brown was, Brown's from uh, Aleph Elstick High School, and uh, Akia Floor is from Westbury Christian, so uh, both of them very highly recruited players. There's another one dribbling violation to turn over, so it goes back to St. Louis. The, the birth of the crossover dribble is what officially started the officials to start realizing we got to start calling some of that stuff because a lot of the guys who use that crossover were major violators of Palmer. We're getting away with it. Brown with a drive the hole, can't get it. Jones with a rebound. Here comes Kirk. Back to Law. Jones for a He won't get it down. Kirk with the follow-up. Bang! Dominique Kirk, one of the most underrated players in the major college basketball, among the best defenders, but doesn't get enough credit for being a consistent offensive threat also. Kiakor, who is a 6'8", 240-pounder, looks a little taller than 6'8", but he definitely looks 240 pounds. Liddell, and he turned it over. He caught it. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of those this year. Now well, that's six turnovers now for St. Louis U. Good and we would pressure. go, we would go years though between palming calls until this year. Oh, yeah. They really are emphasizing that. There you see Brad Soderberg. He 
he will win his 200th career game at some point. I mentioned a while ago, Gort very well under Dick Bennett when Wisconsin went to the Final Four, but I was leading up to the fact that Dick Bennett considered one of the great defensive coaches in the country. That's where Brad Soderberg got his style. There's muscle move by Mr. Jones. Lucas picks up his first foul. Actually, and uh, Soderberg actually is a player. Played with Terry Porter at Wisconsin Stevens Point. There was a nice move by Jones. Three point play. He's had to really work with these two big guys inside for St. Louis. But he's worked pretty well. He's got eight in the first half. Law will get a rest now. The two freshman guards on the floor now for Texas A&M, Derek Rowland and, and Donald Sloan, both high school teammates at Seagaville High right outside of Dallas. 6-10 to go in the half. The Aggies lead it by their largest margin, 12. And uh, this is a short timeout. We'll get it going in just a moment. Taking a look quickly against scoring leaders, A.C. Law with 13, Jones with a 2 for Kirk, 2 for Kavalaskis. On the other side, uh, St. Louis is led by 4 from Lish, 5 from Liddell, Liukas, who's had to battle defensively, both Jones and Kavalaskis, has not scored. And Luke Meyer has it for two. AC Law for the four. What a great career. He has come back from being on this Aggie team that was dreadful to a team now that's ranked. 12th in the nation. That's a great career. Yep, his freshman year, this ball club at Texas A&M was 0-16 in Big 12 conference play. Billy Gillespie's first year, they go to 8-8. Eight eight. Last year, Gillespie's second year, they're 10-6. Expected to do much better than that this year. A.C. Law, the unquestioned leader of this Texas A&M team. Oh. The key of four. Big guy on the court. Hey, Jones just dogging him. He wanted a three-second there, a defensive five-second call. Didn't get it. And the ball knocked out of bounds. But that is the Billy Gillespie-type defense. Well, we keep talking about the great Texas A&M defense and how much Billy Gillespie emphasizes it. St. Louis University comes into this game shooting over 50% per game. Right now, 3 out of 13 this afternoon due to that terrific, harassing Texas A&M defense. Game, this isn't that much fun when guys are guarding you like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a difference a little pressure makes. <laughs> Look at Dominique Kirk right there on Lish. Kevin Lish. Their leading scorer had 26 last night. Kirk right there on him. If we double team, now Lish has to dribble through it. Finds the open man. Brown behind the line. The shot was there. Couldn't get it to fall. The rebound torn away by Joe. They're going to say a tie ball. The arrow is going to say... It is St. Louis basketball. That was a nice job by the Yukas on the offensive glass there for the Billikens. Watch uh, the Yukas on that off. Between two Aggie defenders got there between Kirk and Davis. Nice job. Texas A&M has three freshmen on the floor right now. Sloan, Roland, and Davis. Sloan with a basketball. Sloan and Roland. This might be the only major college team in America where they've got two freshman guards from the same high school playing at the same time. Pretty amazing. Lob down to Jones, and he handles it for two. And it's 25 to 11. Well, we saw Texas A&M. I uh, had a chance to watch them play Friday night against Lamar, and they got out to a 30-5 lead. So Texas A&M likes to start quickly, and they're doing that here again today. Going to have a chance to watch the pass from Davis into Joe Jones. It's a tough pass to defend. High post to low post. I think it's the toughest play in basketball to stop. Outside shot still won't go on the shot by Liddell, and it'll be the Aggies basketball. That was St. a nice, Louis, excuse me, Greg. Well, St. Louis has gotten some shots, but they've all been outside shots. They're having to rush them just a little they bit. They are. That's a good word. They're rushing their shots because of the pressure of Texas A&M. That last assist by the Aggies, that freshman Brian Davis, that's a tough pass to make from high to low post, but he made it well. In five minutes, clock time since St. Louis got a basket. Well, might have gotten away with the travel on that. Sloan with the basketball, top of the circle, banks it home. <laughs> Did, he they do it? It? Did he call it? Did he call it? How they do it at Seagullville? <laughs> it is 27 to 11. A surprisingly large leap and a surprisingly low offensive total for the Billigans. Now, this really shocks me. I thought we'd have a nail biter here today. Still might, but right now, Texas A&M has it all going their way. 
Shot was open for Meyer, but he actually hit the side of the rim. Now the Aggies come back up court. Law, he almost carried that one. Sloan tries to slide it inside, knocked loose, saved finally. Well, not quite by Davis. St. Louis will get the ball back. Billy Gillespie has worked his way up. Graduate of what is now Texas State. Came from UTEP. That's his first head job at the University of Texas El Paso, where in his second year he had the team winning. Well, he didn't wait that long here. He had him winning in his first, first year. year. Now we're off first new Billy Gillespie is the head coach of Coppers Cove High School down in Central Texas. And then went to Colleen Ellison High, then to South Plains Junior College, and then assistant at Baylor at Tulsa and Illinois. And then, as you said, his head coaching day, days begin at UTL Paso. This is on the outside shot. And they're going to have a jumping in foul on Davis. Reaching in for that one. Davis had 11 points in the game against Lamar. We'll take a timeout, though, with 3.36 to go. You cannot tell from Billy Gillespie's face who's winning. He is 36 to go in the half. Number one trucks in Texas. With power and payload folks here need. A level of refinement unmatched by any competitor. And more trucks on the road with over 250,000 miles than any other brand. Now get a new F-150 Texas Edition with 7,000 cash back or 0% financing for 60 months. Get to your Texas Ford dealer today and make your move. Ford is the best in Texas. Steak, egg, and cheese burrito. Sonic's got it, others don't. A warm flour tortilla stuffed with everything you want for breakfast. It's a hearty way to start your morning. Sonic Steak, Egg, and Cheese Burrito. Try one today with the Sonic Sunrise. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Diamonds. Compare the chain stores one carat I1 for $47.99 with the jewelry exchanges ISI quality for $2,900. We sell diamonds loose and set them while you watch Three Stone Mountings just $99. Buy direct the jewelry exchange in Dallas. My name is Joe Jones. I play for Texas a &M. Why? Because of passion. Because of pride. Because of desire. Aggie basketball, don't miss it. Three thirty-six to go here in the uh, first half. The Aggies with a sixteen-point lead. And one reason is very simple. When you look at this game, is simple. If you put the ball in the hole, you have a chance of winning. Well, They're not putting it in the hole. St. Louis having a lot of trouble. Well, they've had some good looks at the basket, but most of the time there's been a Texas Aggie defender right there in their face. Billiken's only shooting three out of nineteen so far. Fifteen point eight percent. That won't get the job done on the road, and certainly it has them in a big hole here this afternoon in College Station at Reed Arena. Billikens trailing the Aggies 27 to 11. I think back when Armand Fisher was the coach, they might have been able to hang tight with a low field goal percentage, but uh, they've had 22 coaches since him, and the game has changed. you got to shoot better than that. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> But let's give Texas A&M a lot of credit defensively. But I'm going to go back. St. Louis does not have a great deal of depth. And when you play in your third game in three days, that wears down quickly. Yeah, the Aggies have been playing basically seven men, but they've gotten more than that. That shot from outside won't go by the big guy as uh, Cusack tries it. He's a seven-footer from Iowa. And he did, but the problem didn't get back defensively the basket by Jones well Texas A&M continuing to do a terrific job with their entry pass down to the low block Joe Jones much quicker than the showing right there why he's considered a prime NBA prospect because of his size and speed and quickness the oh can't get the roll the follow shot won't go the tap won't go and finally the ball loose on the court picked up by Lynch he has been held almost in check. Four points, that's all. The guy averaging 19. 2.37 to go in the first half. Liddell. Well, it's going to be one of those nights, perhaps, because that was an open shot for Mr. Lish, and he couldn't get it to hold. Carter dumped it into Jones, and Jones is fouled from behind. 
he is just working right now. Vujukas picks up his second foul. It looks like they've changed the defense a little bit. There's a lot more one-on-one -on -one with Jones, and they're really getting the ball to him, which they couldn't well, do earlier. Just watch Joe Jones in the paint right there, just positioning himself so well. But the key to this, Greg, is Texas A&M has perfect spacing on the floor. They have the right angle for the entry pass to the block. Everything right now is in sync for Texas A&M, not so for the St. Louis Billikens. 19-point lead, largest of the game for Joseph Jones. He's up to 11 points here in the first half. He and A.C. Law have done most of the scoring and a rebound on the miss to the Kiyakor. Pick up Liddell, trying to use his speed, but Law stays right with him. Now Law and Jones have combined for 23 of the Aggies, 30 points. Playing off the list, he was thinking in the middle, but it closed. The Kiyakor on top to Liddell. Look at Law, right in his shirt. That's not the guy you ordinarily want shooting from out there. Kiyakor misses, but at least they get it back. Pass deflected inside. Kiyakor now in close. Faking, faking, firing. And he'll go to the free throw line. That's where you want big guys like that. And he drew the foul. A nice ball fake by Kiyakor there to get Antonis Kovalaskas off the floor and to draw the foul. Kiyakor mentioned attention, attended uh, Westbury Christian High School in Houston, Texas. He was on this... Uh, club last year but was red shirted very nice looking prospect good, good body nice runs well good hands with these big fellows on the floor Joe Jones and uh, the Yukas we've got several NBA scouts in attendance here today Steve Yoder from the New York Knicks uh, Daryl Johnson from the Charlotte Bobcats and uh, Ed Manning from the Memphis Grizzlies all here to watch uh, A.C. Law being a senior being closely watched also. The left-hander has scored probably half his points with his right hand in this game as he gets two more and he's up to 15. And the Yankees will call a timeout. This is actually a lesson to any youngster, right, Jim? Learn to use both hands. Well, and nobody does it better than A.C. Law, and he's just so silky smooth. He's got great body control. You can see him there gliding to the basket, but staying under control, moving the ball from the left hand to the right. Just a terrific talent that has become a great, great leader for this Texas Aggie basketball team. Been watching that young man play since he was at Kimball High School in Dallas, and every year he gets better and better and better. And that's why the NBA is watching him so close, closely. At 6'3, he's got great size for a point guard. And he's learned that point guard mentality. When he came here, he was really a shooter. And he has learned the whole game, including, more importantly, the defense. He's very, very good on defense. Texas A&M will play Idaho State in their next game Saturday. The Billikens will return home and host St. Louis or host Houston in St. Louis on but, Saturday. Uh, Tom Penders is watching us right now, Greg. He very well might be. Well, hello to Tom if you are. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if he is, he better tell his team he's got to play some of that Aggie defense because the St. Louis team is a lot better than what we've seen so far in the first half. That's for sure. Kind of forced that shot, did Liddell. Here comes A.C. Law, and leads the pass to Kirk Tular and out of bounds. Well, tried to force that right there. The Aggies had numbers, but it was tough to bounce it between the two blue-shirted Billikens that happened to be between A.C. Law and Carter. The Billikens, part of the 14 team, Atlantic 10. You figure that one. You know, Greg, People in the Big Ten know the answer. Yep. <laughs> Don't count. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but uh, they did well last year. There's a shot from outside that won't go down by Meyer. And the rebound comes off the Yankees again. Boy, the shooting is just not been to do it. Even when open, it's something that kind of is a cumulative effect. Davis has a shot knocked away, and a pass knocked away, and here comes Liddell on a drive to the basket, Liddell, and he gets his second basket. He now has seven points, and that ends a long drop with 24 seconds to go in the first half, 32 to 13. Now, Liddell did a nice job of shielding the Aggie defender there as he took the ball all the way to the rack off of the turnover by Texas A&M. Just Aggie's the Aggies' going. sixth turnover of the ball game. Final shot. We'll be going back to studio to begin halftime, and then Jim and I will be back to recap the first half and take a look at the stats. Oh, 
Carter drives the lane. His first hoop of the game. And that is it. It is halftime. The Aggies please the home crowd here in this uh, third and final game of the Shelby Metcalf Classic with a halftime advantage of 34 to 13. AC Law with 15. Joseph Jones with 11 to lead the scoring. We're going to be sending it back for an update of all the rest of what's going on in the sports world, and then we shall return here shortly. Don't go away. It's Aggie St. Louis basketball here on FSN. When you can't put it into words, show her she's the one with timeless jewelry from Donahoe's Jewelers. Donahoe's Jewelers, jewelry for a lifetime. Six Pines Drive, next to the Woodlands Pavilion. It's that time to make your wish list, and you can start at Classic Lincoln Mercury of Denton. I'm Kenneth Wood, sales manager, and I want to gift wrap a new Lincoln or Mercury for you today. Pick your color and drive home a Lincoln LT for only $3.99 per month, or the all-new Lincoln Navigator for only $4.99 per month. And just look, the new MKZ for just $2.99 per month. If it's a new Mercury you're looking for, I've got the Mercury Lawn for only $1.99 per month. Let me wrap up a new Lincoln or Mercury for you today from classic Lincoln Mercury of Denton. Relax. This is Sarah. And if she doesn't look too happy, well, she isn't. Sarah, like many people, has too much credit card debt. How about you? Do you have five, ten, fifteen, or even $25,000 or more in credit card debt? Are your creditors harassing you at all hours? Are you tired of going through life feeling like Sarah? At the Debt Management Center, we help people just like Sarah every day. Regular people who got in over their heads in credit card debt and want their lives back on track. We can even help you find a payoff plan you can live with. One that can work with your creditors and in some cases eliminate penalties, lower your interest rates, and even reduce what you owe. Don't let the word bankruptcy enter your thoughts call us because you can pay off your credit cards and finally have some peace of mind and the best part is you'll feel like yourself again Sarah did make the call today you're watching FSN Southwest Welcome into the FSN studios. Rick Renner, good afternoon to you. It's halftime between Texas A&M and St. Louis. We'll get you back out to Reed Arena in just a moment. But first, let's check out some other Big 12 action from today. Game one of today's Shelby Metcalf Classic. Sam Houston State taking on Oklahoma State. OSU up nine with James on Curry. Splash. He had 14 points, and the Cowboys are up 11. Next Bearcat possession. Terrell Harris with the steal. Coast to coast in the alley-oop. Bam! Marcus Dove for the high percentage shot. Oklahoma State up by a dozen of plus one. Cowboys on the fast break here. Curry to Harris, back to Curry for the layup. The Cowboys up 47 to 34. More Cowboys. Obi Monello is a fine fellow with the play fake in here. And Oklahoma State goes on to win it 86 to 67. Your final there. Missouri playing host to Davidson. The Tigers looking to go 5-0. and Davidson on the break and Curry finds a wide open Williams. Archibald in the three-pointer there. 41 to 38. Davidson. Missouri blew a 12-point lead in this one early. But late in the game it's Missouri's Matt Lawrence who hits the trifecta 72-68 lead Davidson try to make a run in the end but Leo Lyons is like a Lyons he and the group a defensive play too much there Mizzou win 81 to 75 Missouri's Mike Anderson is the first Missouri coach to win his first five games since George Bond in 1922 one other big 12 score to mention Iowa State beat Norfolk State 57 to 49. Now, to take another quick break, and when we come back, second half action at Texas A&M against St. Louis. Enjoy the rest of the game.
In America today, higher education is more important to our future than ever before. Universities across this great land must feed the mind and the soul of their students. They must develop strong leaders with integrity, character, and honor. I chose such a place for my presidential library, a unique American institution. Texas A&M University is one of the nation's top academic and research institutions, but it's the Aggie spirit that defines us. I'm proud to be part of this school, proud to be an Aggie. There are go and then there's sport clips a place for guys where you can get a great haircut and catch the game at sport clips it's all about you at sport clips guys win You just feel good in a suit, and K&G has thousands at great low prices that'll fit you and your budget. K&G, for men, for women, for less. Rated M for Mature. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Hide in my head, I want to drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow Now With Thanksgiving right around the corner today is your day to come out to Gallery Furniture at 6006 High 45 North between Temple Parker and Bad Beautiful Dining Room Furniture today and of course Gallery Furniture delivers tonight just in time for Thanksgiving. No waiting, no delay, no frustrating back on Remember when you buy your furniture, be it dining room furniture, bedroom furniture, living room furniture, today at Gallery Furniture. Gallery Furniture delivers tonight, guaranteed. Thanksgiving right around the corner. Gallery Furniture delivers the furniture to your home tonight. Off with the team with the delivery. Gallery stays your money today. There are some places guys shouldn't go. Then, there's Sport Clips, made just for guys, with sports on TV and stuff guys like, and none of the stuff guys don't. At Sport Clips, guys win. Welcome back to the uh, Reed Arena, everyone. Craig Lucas here along with Jim Haller. 34 to 13, a surprisingly one-sided halftime score at least. Texas A&M is on top and it's really been the work of everybody on defense and mostly two guys on offense. Well, certainly the two guys on offense, A.C. <laughs> Law and Joe Jones accounting for what, 26 of their 34 points, but it all starts with the defense. Let's put it in perspective. St. Louis is averaging 83 points per game. The Aggies have held them to 13 here in the first half. A.C. Law, we see on the first two of his 15 points in the second half. Don't worry, you're going to see most of them right now because our producer is a president of the AC Law Fan Club right here. We're going to see about six or seven AC Law buckets showing his quickness, his speed, terrific versatility. He can hurt you in so many ways, Greg. Just kisses it off the glass there, and then we'll have a chance now to see Joe Jones do his thing, crashing the offensive boards, two of his 11 points right there for the Texas Aggies building this huge 21-point advantage. Well, you talked about the inside-outside combo returning. Uh, they were the only two, uh, both average over 15 points a game that last year. I see no reason why they won't both average that again this year. Oh, I think they might do better than that because they're such the focal point of this Aggie attack. And St. Louis University is a terrific defensive team, but you see the Aggies just have everything in sync. The perfect passing angles, nice entry passes, spreading the floor perfectly. Joe Jones using his experience there to get inside. Billikens haven't scored much. They've actually only had four baskets. Yeah, Kevin Lish right there, yeah. their leading scorer, getting his only bucket of the first half, and Tommy Liddell knocking it down from the outside, and Luke Meyer on the nice drive down the baseline. The only other one they had was a three-pointer. They have really struggled. Uh, again, we showed the offense for the Aggies, but I think we have to, again, emphasize Car the uh, St. Louis Club is not shooting well, but I'll tell you why. It's because of the defense that this whole Aggie team is putting on them. Well, and the key to the defense is great ball pressure. Whoever's guarding the man with the basketball doesn't give him an open look to the basket or to make good passes. Texas A&M's also done a great job on offside defense. The greatest play of the game was just made <laughs> off camera, Doc. One of us. 
Unfortunately, saving a basketball, <laughs> one of our crew went diving on the court. We'll just have to tell you about it. We'll be back. Halftime continues in a moment. In America today, higher education is more important to our future than ever before. Universities across this great land must feed the mind and the soul of their students. They must develop strong leaders with integrity, character, and honor. I chose such a place for my presidential library, a unique American institution. Texas A&M University is one of the nation's top academic and research institutions, but it's the Aggie spirit that defines us. I'm proud to be part of this school, proud to be an Aggie. The first Dallas Williams Chicken opened in 1987 and has grown to over 50 locations. The secret? Williams Chicken is fresh, never frozen, marinated daily, and cooked to perfection. Great value, quality, and flavor. Visit Williams Chicken. Taste the difference. When you think of Salina, you think of state championship football and championship deals at Preston Road Chevrolet. If you're in the market for a new used vehicle, go to PRCTrucks.com. You won't find a better deal than at Preston Road Chevrolet in Salina, home of champions and championship deals done this about 10 years now, and you have to do it right the first time, okay? Pagamos en vietas. Oh, yeah! Y'all got to say something. Well, how do you get excited when you're saying something so boring? Oh, no, Hilton, we're cutting prices, not baby Paris's hair. <laughs> cutting prices or cutting hair, Houston. Now featuring Paris Jade Collection. I-45 South, exit Dubuque, next to Al. Meet them all. Stay tuned money-making opportunity from SMC. Would you like to make more money, set your own hours, and spend more time with your family? Well, now you can with SMC. It's amazing, I mean, to go to the mailbox and you get $10,000, $50,000 checks. I was buried in debt, and I was sitting around one day and I saw an SMC commercial. I felt confident that this would work. My best year gross, I did about $350,000. I was making more money than I ever made in my life. SMC supports its members with a huge warehouse stocked with thousands of products that you can sell for profits of up to 300% and more. Call right now to request your free information packet. And remember to ask your operator how you can jumpstart your business with $100 worth of free SMC merchandise. Just pick up the phone and call this toll-free number now. Remember, you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. Call 800-693-9831 now. The Direct Energy Texas Grand Slam on FSN Southwest. Texas A&M with a 34-13 lead, and that stat really tells the story, but if you want to know why, that stat looks like it does. Here's why. Field goal percentage, only 14%. For St. Louis and the Aggies, 50%. And then you go on down the line. The Aggies, not only that, controlling the boards, turnovers either. But it goes back to shooting. And defense caused that shooting. Well, St. Louis University is too good a basketball team to shoot four out of 28. I'm going to go back to the fact I think they're a little bit tired after playing three games in three days, traveling from St. Louis down here. But the Texas A&M on-ball defense has been perfect the entire first half. And we'll see if they can keep it up, and we'll see what adjustments Brad Soderberg and his staff have in store for the villages. We'll be back, second half coming up. When it's time to go, Texans go all the way. And now you can go even farther using less fuel in a 2007 Ford Explorer. For a limited time, you can get one with payments starting from only $349 a month. That's right, just $349 a month. Plus, save big on a fuel-efficient 2007 Ford Escape. Right now, you can get cash allowances up to $2,000. Or pay just $9.99 down and drive one for only $2.89 a month. Ford SUVs are definitely the way to go. Visit your Texas Ford dealer. When you can't put it into words, show her she's the one with timeless jewelry from Donahoe's Jewelers. Donahoe's Jewelers, jewelry for a lifetime. Six Pines Drive, next to the Woodlands Pavilion. Welcome to the grand opening of Classic Mazda, the newest Mazda facility and fastest growing dealership in North Texas. I'm Rick Wick, sales manager at Classic Mazda. We're starting our Mazda It's Go Time year-end sales event early. 
we've got over 50 of the hard to find and popular Mazda 3s in stock. And with the 24 month test drive, the 2007 Mazda 6 value edition is only $199 per month. With over 400 Mazdas available, we'll meet or beat any price on a new Mazda. Come test drive a Mazda today. When it's time to go, Texans go all the way. And now you can go even farther using less fuel in a 2007 Ford Explorer. For a limited time, you can get one with payments starting from only $349 a month. That's right, just $349 a month. Plus, save big on a fuel-efficient 2007 Ford Escape. Right now, you can get cash allowances up to $2,000. Or pay just $999 down and drive one for only $289 a month. Ford SUVs are definitely the way to go. Visit your Texas Ford dealer. At halftime, it's 34-13, the Aggies lead St. Louis. I mentioned at half, one of the greatest plays of the game was not seen. Now, look at this. There is a figure right there. Now, we're on the court doing our little halftime thing. Now, watch this great play. The ball is going to bounce over in our direction, and... <laughs> well, he, he must have gone to the Billy Gillespie Keith School of Aggression. made the greatest play of the game just to make sure the basketball <laughs> didn't... We're going to clap for yes, that, man. I'll good. tell you, that was, he saved us. <laughs> that, there you go. Oh. That was Keith, and he's, uh, he's uh, working on audio. We, we work with him a lot during the summer. Look at that play. That play was... Amazing. Let's take the game as we get set. Best this deflection of the game. Leading scores, as you can see. Two big guys and a seven leader on the St. Louis side. Now we'll see what the Billikens can do here in the second half. Well, the 13 points that St. Louis scored, we've just been informed, is the fewest first half, first half points in Texas A&M school basketball history. By an opponent. Got it. It's right here. Just had Since it handed when? to me. Well, it says... Uh, back when the games were 13 to 6? <laughs> well, that's what they just handed. 13 first, okay. fewest first half points in known, known. A&M history. In known A&M history. They don't have the breakdown back in the aughts. In the final score. But well, you <laughs> says at the free throw line. Vyukas well, getting his first points of the ball game. Averaging 14 per game on the year. Did not scratch for the Billikens in the first 20 minutes. Lucas will have one more. And he got that one. Nice form, perfect follow through. That's his first two points of the game. He came in averaging 14. In fact, we pointed out five players averaged in double figures coming into the game for St. Louis. Well, Texas A&M has four averaging in double figures. St. Louis, five. Well, both of them have little ways to go because Houston, uh, St. Louis, uh, had just one guy near double figures. And Texas A&M had two that were already oh, in it. Great ball fake right there by A.C. Law to get Liddell off the floor. Shaq Very unselfish the play by Law. He could have taken it into the paint for the shot. The inbounded under the hoop. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. 34-15. Jones back out to Kirk. Kirk swings it around to Law. He's got four on the shot clock. He'll take it. Knuckleballs it home. There was no rotation whatsoever on that ball, but it hit nothing but net. Terrific job. Great performance today, continuing for A.C. Law. You know, it would seem to think that A.C. has a lot of trouble shooting on outdoor courts <laughs> where there's wind. Yeah. <laughs> that ball would move all over the place. Here's Paul. Lucas three, and he can't get it to go down. It bubbles out and rebound off to Jones. It comes long, he dribbles it out of bounds. Turns it over, and it'll go back to St. Louis. We'll have an opportunity to see this knuckleball that A.C. Law shoots. He shoots it well. Nice jab step to get the defender to back off. Look at that. You don't see any seam no. moving at all. No rotation, but... Great result. I don't know it's how not you, the way you teach it. I don't know how you do it. Yes, that'll be a, a You know, something foul. that AC Law did there, Greg, that a lot of youngsters need to learn how to do, take that jab step into your defender where he's got to take a step back. Then you pull back and you have the wide open shot. And with AC Law's quickness, he uses it well. Remember they had a right here at Texas A&M, Bernard King, who was a left-handed shooter like Law before him. He also had a lot of knuckleball on his shot. Nice double team in the corner. Good rotation by Texas A&M. Liddell over there all by his lonesome. Texas A&M put on the quick trap. Josh Carter and Joe Jones. 
Fogle with the basketball, guarded by Law. I just had a double screen on the far side of the court. That was to try to break Lish loose a little bit, get him going. And then he has to go into the big man land, and it was deflected, and then he grabs a foul, reaching in. Been a real struggle for Kevin. Yeah, after coming off of his career high game last night, mentioned a couple of times, he tallied 26 for the Billikens in their victory over the Lamar Cardinals. His big score was Lish, and he's going to have to sit down on the bench for a while. He uh, averaged 11 points last year as a freshman, was a high score in high school. But been a struggle in this one. Carter. Jones on top. Kirk has the basketball. Earl can't get it there. down. Or Law can't get it down. The rebound off to Jones. Very nice job by Antonis Kovalaskis right there, getting the inside position. Kicking it back out on the Aggie possession. Texas A&M showing many weapons here this afternoon, showing why they're ranked number 12 in the nation. Appear to have all the tools needed to be successful. You know, the biggest change we see from last year already in this uh, game with Kavalaskis is he's much more of an interior player than he was in the games that we saw last year where he would not be quite the same force inside. And the Dell works hard. Moving so much better. Yeah. His, his lateral movement's terrific. That will be a charge on the big guys. He ran right over the top. Rayukas picks up the foul. Have a chance to look at this good Texas A&M defense again. Dominique Kirk sliding right there to draw the charge. Or that was Josh Carter that drew that charge, wasn't it? Wasn't it 23? 23. I had I my vision. Of, yeah, Carter. Josh Carter. Nice job by the sophomore Dallas Lake Highlands. Great, great shooter. And when you see a big guy like Lucas coming at you, race 270, this might hurt. <laughs> but he well, if you play for Billy Gillespie, you're going to have to accept <laughs> that getting hurt occasionally, or you're not going to be on the floor. <laughs> Kavalaska swings it around to Kirk. Kirk gets a step to the baseline. Over. Oh, rolls it off, and the rebound comes down on the other side to Brown. Danny Brown brings it down four. Plays it off to Lucas. Lucas. Nowhere to go. Oh, nice. down yeah, with the that big was good guys. rotation there. Carter dropping down to the baseline. They're trying to pass it across the paint. Good team defense. A lot of Kaviakis, uh, Kavi, Kavalaskis into Jones. Kavalaskis can't get the rebound. Here comes Liddell. Brown in a front rimmer. Won't go. Tapped out to Jones. Taken off by Liddell. Jones reaches in and is called for the foul. That was nice penetration down the lane by Liddell. Kicked it out nicely to Brown in the corner, just not able to knock down the long jump shot. Have a chance to look at Carter dropping down on the baseline. Came from out at the front of the lane, dropped all the way down to stop that Across the paint pass. Good you could team also, rotation you could also by the Aggies. See on the setup on that, Polk could not see that there was anybody there. And so a little cat surprise cat anybody. Mouse. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hide, he baited hide, him. Hiding behind the other defenders. Oh, good job, Joe Jones stepping out there, as they call it, hedging right there. Then he's got to get back to his man. The Yukas with a running hook. Oh, that was a big time move. His first field goal. He's got four points. And it's 39-17. That's the first field goal of the second half for St. Louis. He has but five in the whole game. Won't go, and the rebound comes down to uh, Meyer, finally to Liddell. And a little wrestling inside. That's going to be... Yeah, Bayukas did a good job of getting position in there, Greg. Got Joe Jones on the hole. A couple of quick fouls on Jones. He's got three. We'll take a break. 15-24 to play, 39-17. So much for bringing me here. I really love it here. Like, first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. I am a princess, and I deserve to be treated like one. Miranda's not happy. Perhaps Jason could show some interest in how Miranda's feeling. I like peanuts. I like cashews, especially candy. Like, my life is so not together right now. Chestnuts, pine nuts, uh, anything in a trail mix. You know who would love to meet you? My mom. She's here. Mommy? Tired of bad dates? Imagine how much time and money you'd save if you invested just 30 minutes to fill out the eHarmony online questionnaire. Because once we get to know you, 
we can connect you with other singles who have been pre-screened for compatibility with you. So on your first eHarmony date, you'll have so much in common. And that's the beginning of a great relationship. It all starts with your eHarmony personality profile. Free when you log on to eHarmony.com today. What's in a name? With Williams' Fried Chicken, based in Dallas, Williams sets the standard for great value, quality, and flavor. Williams' Chicken is always fresh, never frozen, marinated daily, and cooked to perfection. Visit Williams' Chicken and taste the difference. Over 50 locations. When you think of Salina, you think of state championship football and championship deals at Preston Road Chevrolet. If you're in the market for a newer used vehicle, go to PRCTrucks.com. You won't find a better deal than at Preston Road Chevrolet in Salina, home of champions and championship deals. Texas A&M continues to expand its athletic facilities. This is the groundbreaking for yet a new facility, which will include some more practice gyms and some training facilities to go alongside G. Raleigh White, the old place, which is still here and being used, and of course the Reed Arena, the beautiful Reed Arena that you see here that seats about 12,005. Of course, all the folks in St. Louis are happy too because they broke ground in August for a new on-campus arena, which will seat about 10,600. And the pictures that they show us in their media guide are beautiful. This is the old place where the Aggies played, G. Raleigh White, and it was quite an atmosphere there, but let's just say the program way outgrew it. And it's still there. It's still being used by the school for other facility, other uses. But that was quite a place. The Holler House on the Brazos. Well, I'll tell you this. is the loudest arena I ever coached in, Greg. <laughs> they used to put that full 240-piece fighting Texas Aggie band right there in the end zone. They, now, one end of that building was a big steel wall where all the sound just bounced right off of it. And that was a great home court advantage for Texas A&M and Shelby Metcalf for many years. And had a lot of great teams in that. Now, you know, back, this thing about this, back in 1980, uh, that ball club advanced to the Sweet 16, beat Dean Smith in North Carolina in the NCAA tournament to get that far. There's a lot of Aggie history that uh, has kind of gone by the way of poor memory by, for a lot of people, but now it's rejuvenated, and Billy Gillespie's got it going the right way. Fewest points in the first half. People have forgotten that. Just too. <laughs> Outside his corner, he can't get it. And a rebound and a foul will be whistled on Brian Davis. Well, we got to be honest on this. The reality is records weren't kept nearly as extensively as they have been over the last 20 years or 30 years. And uh, those teams that played back in the aught sixes and the 20s, you're lucky you have a final score. And that applies to everybody. Big Brian Davis back on the floor for the Aggies now uh, in place of Joe Jones. Brian Davis, number 34, keep an eye on him. They think he's going to be a really a terrific power forward for the future. Brad Soderberg, uh, obviously not happy with the way things have been turning out in this game, but he thinks his club is going to be a pretty solid club this year, and it will be. There's no question about that. I think the fatigue factor is, and, and you know, Aggie fans are, well, wait a minute, our guys played three games. They did, but this is a home game. And they have the home crowd. That gives you a little bit of incentive to overcome some of those fatigue uh, problems. Plus, they're bigger clubs. And that can wear you down, too. Kirk will come out of the game. And Jones will come back in. And Davis will leave. 14-29 to go here in the game. 39-17. Was a good move. Jones well, being low, much more away. active this half, Greg. I think somebody got his attention at halftime. He's showing much more want to right here in this second 20 minutes of action. Athens, Greece, been on the Greek national team. Ball goes to the basket, can't get it down. Vajukas will go up and score. Nice strong move right there by the big fella, holding his ground very well. Law comes back, lays it back out to Jones around the law. They're looking inside to Jones. Jones will dump it off to Tavaloskis. To the basket. There's a the pass action again. That time low post to high post. We saw the good move in the first half. High post to low post pass. Very tough to defend. Good move without the basketball by Antonis Tavaloskis. Brown. Tavaloskis from Lithuania. Odell. 
Lucas with a turnaround jump hook, back lip. That'll be an undercut. And the foul should be on number 23. We're going to have a chance to see Kavalaskis. Look at him up at the high post, breaking low to the bucket. Nice drop off by Joe Jones. Good team basketball by Texas A&M. That's why they're up by 22 points here with 13-21 to go. So the Aggies will have the basketball. Aggies bring it up court with uh, A.C. Law running the show. He's being guarded by Brown. It's been the case here in the second half. We've got a little taller guy on him. He's been just one field goal in the second half. Aggies have their two fine freshman guards back on the floor together now. Sloan and Roland. Kavalowski gives it off to Roland. Roland on the pass to Law. Law to the baseline. Brown staying with it. Brown not as quick as Law as no one is, but at least he is a little taller, but it didn't make any difference. A.C. Law just took him. Well, and there was no offside defensive help come help on uh, Polk on that defense. A.C. Law got the quick step advantage on the baseline. Nobody to help him. Law goes out of bounds on the rebound. Lish couldn't control it. And now it will be the Aggies ball. They're going to go a little deeper on the bench now. Logan Lee will be coming in at the next dead ball as it's a 43-19 lead and a turnover. A well, that's violation. the second time they've called A.C. Law on that palming violation. You can't turn the ball over like they're used to doing in the past. And I think that's probably at least four altogether in this game, uh, palming violations. It's tough because a lot of these guys, that's the way they've been playing since they grew up. Yeah, well, you look at Polk right now. Yeah. He's almost palming it right now. It's just the way uh, all of a sudden they've decided they can't do that anymore. Here's Polk with a drive to the big guys and has to wrestle it away. And he gets it over two shots. Polk back off the screen. Oh, maybe had a shot, didn't take it. Now Liddell with a fall away for two. There's that versatility we talked about concerning Tommy Liddell early in the telecast. He can score in many ways, not having a good game here today, but certainly showing us how he can perform. Nine points in this game. Team has 21. Lee swings it inside. There was that terrific entry pass. Texas A&M continuing to do a good job of getting the passing angles. Logan Lee comes on the floor. First assist for him today. Very good leader. Billy Gillespie likes him a lot. His first assist of the year. And look at the hustle of Jones out to Roland, who slams it. Freshman from Cedarville, Texas, getting to excite the crowd here. Nice job of looking up the floor. Was that Kovaloskis that threw him that pass? Uh, Jones. Jones, Big Joe Jones. 47 to 21. Lish with a well, nice job by Lish of, of splitting the Aggie defense. And from the deep left side, that's 32. Luke yeah, Meyer, Luke Meyer averaging Luke. 11 per game this year. One of five St. Louis Pelicans to average in double figures. Lee, swing around to Roland. Was open for a moment. Tried to get closer. Back to the lead. He wants a high screen. Here's Jones. Swing around to Sloan. Logan Lee with the ball. Transferred here from the University of Hawaii. Nice shot. Good movement. Coming from the offside to the head of the circle. Nice balance up by Logan Lee. He played uh, 33 games, 26 starts in 04 as a sophomore Hawaii, average four, sat out last year. Well, he started his first. college career, Greg, at South Plains Junior College after playing high school ball in San Antonio. We got a timeout, 10.26 to go in the game. It is 50 to 23. The Aggies solidly on top. Liddell on the board, though. He's up to nine. Friendly people. All right. Welcome to Carmax. Thank you very much. Stress-free shopping. We never sell a car with blood or brain damage. Guaranteed quality. The used cars you want. One stop. Carmax. The way car buying.
me in your own words a little bit about Geico. Well, it's one-stop shopping, really, geico.com. You can get a free rate quote. You could compare coverage options. You could file a claim, pay your bill online. Even, you know, have a little chat with an associate if you need help. What about you? Can they chat with you? I'm here for Geico, love. Let's not delve into my personal life, eh? Hey? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. D today. The Direct Energy Texas Grand Slam on FSN Southwest. It's 50 to 23 at 10.26 to play in the game. Sports ultimate nightly highlight show is here. It's the final score. Every great highlight, every unforgettable moment, every night on FSN. It's the only national show that gives you nothing but wall-to-wall -wall highlights. The FSN final score tonight is on at 10.30 on FSN. I don't know if it has all the highlights, because I don't know if Keith's effort will make the show, but it'll have all the game highlights. Have a good chance to look at ball movement by Texas A&M. I keep mentioning spacing. They're doing such a good job of creating the right passing angles. Kovaloskis now with eight points, the recipient of that good pass, and another one right there on the assist from Logan Lee. Kovaloskis now the third leading scorer for the Aggies with eight points this afternoon. Six in the second half. His team 50 to 23. Lucas having trouble getting started. Kyle Rockets made him take a jumper from outside, and he gets the rebound off the court. Here comes Sloan. Velasquez. Rolling. He's guarded closely there by Danny Brown. Got more playing time in the second half. Now we have a hold up here because Jones maybe take it, took an inadvertent hook in the eye. And so the official has stopped things. Our official, Steve Olson, Ted Hillary, and Terry Moore. Uh, they, this crew is a very experienced, well-respected group. Worked a very good game here this afternoon. They've let them play. Haven't called a lot of ticky-tack fouls. All they've done is called calm. They're good at that. <laughs> It's like Shelby Metcalf used to say, gosh, these referees are so good, they catch that three-second lane violation in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, Shelby. Oh, I don't man. know if Shelby's able to watch today where he is, but uh, hopefully people that uh, are close to him uh, will offer everyone's best wishes. And certainly his, uh, his favorite college team is doing very well in his inaugural tournament named after. Yeah, I noticed uh, Shelby's wife Janice and daughter Shelly here today. I don't see the, the Twinkies. That's the pride of Shelby's life there, his grandkids. Boy, what a defensive effort by Jones on Boyukas, who tried to go up with it. Jones just slapped it away. Jones, for a big guy, does a good job of hitting balls away while they're down below. A lot of big guys don't do that very well. They all think they got to block everything and they end up getting fouled. Stop! Stop. Stop. On by Yukis. Bubble out. Really too strong. The rebound knocked over to Lynch who gets it out of the corner. Well, Kovaloskis is making a lot of nice moves here. He's a threat that opponents are going to have to contend with this year. Joe Jones not the only inside force scoring-wise for Texas A&M. Roland gets the foul call on the extra effort by Lynch. Have a chance to watch Joe Jones defensively right there, getting the deflection of the ball as the Shuskas that time uh, could not make the move quick enough. This will be at the foul line. He scored four fairly early, and he is now hit for his fifth point. 27 points against Lamar. Nine rebounds, 19 points against Louisiana Tech. Even though he struggled in this game, there's a good chance he'll make an all-tournament team just the same for his total numbers. He'll get one more shot. And he has six. 50 to 25. It's doubled. Surprisingly easy win up to this point for the Aggies. Now, I say that, and that means nothing about their effort. Their effort has been top class, and they're going to say easy. We worked our butts off. Well, they what did. you've got to remember, Texas A&M is averaging 83 points per game, and they've only got 50 points with eight minutes to go. So St. Louis has really held A&M yeah. lower than their normal, but the Aggies' defense has just been suffocating on St. Louis U. Brown 12, short. I'm sure St. Louis, when they look at the tape, they're going to say, yeah, 
defense was good, but we also missed some shots that we shouldn't have missed, and that's true. They had some that were open that they just stayed into the rim. Look at the right hand off the back. There's Jim Law. Quick speed right there. A.C. Law went by four blue-shirted Billiken defenders. And that's 22 for A.C. Law. He's one of these guys that you, you have to play him to the left hand when he drives the basket, but once he shoots it, he you got to play the other hand. Basket nice, will count. Uh, move by, by Billiken leading scorer Kevin Lish right there using his left hand. One of four left-handers to see action here this afternoon. Timeout before he tries the foul shot. We'll take a break. Here's the Kevin or the Law basket. And it's, there's a break. 7:47 left. In America today, higher education is more important to our future than ever before. Universities across this great land must feed the mind and the soul of their students. They must develop strong leaders with integrity, character, and honor. I chose such a place for my presidential library, a unique American institution. Texas A&M University is one of the nation's top academic and research institutions, but it's the Aggie spirit that defines us. I'm proud to be part of this school, proud to be an Aggie. between 450 and 850. Do you know what it is? It's my credit score, and it happens to be 720. The higher my credit score, the better chance I have of saving a lot of money. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out right now at freecreditreport.com. You can even print it out if you want to. How much easier could it get? Log on to freecreditreport.com. That's freecreditreport.com. Free credit report offer applies with enrollment in triple advantage. Grand opening of class Mazda, the newest Mazda facility and fastest growing dealership in North Texas. I'm Rick Wick, sales manager at Classic Mazda. We're starting our Mazda It's Go Time year-end sales event early. With the 24-month test drive, the all-new Mazda X7 is only $179 a month. And the sporty 2006 Mazda RX-8 is $299 a month. With over 400 Mazdas available, we'll meet or beat any price on a new Mazda. Come test drive a Mazda today. 7.47 to go, and you see the Aggies with a hefty lead. Tonight, be there live for the first show that breaks down the new BCS standings, the official BCS rating show exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on toward a berth in the BCS bowl game. The official BCS rating show presented by KFC tonight at 9.30 on FSN. Well, we welcome all the fans watching FSN Midwest. St. Louis Billiken fans. Or the tradition of basketball with St. Louis is long. And I remember it goes personally goes back to me when Ed Biddle was the coach, because I got to know Ed a little bit in later years. They've had some great players and great teams. The Aggies, on the other hand, uh, as you know, for many years it was totally dominated by football. Even when Shelby had some good teams, it took a while to get attract a lot of attention. But in recent years, starting with the building of this arena and then culminating, I guess, with Billy Gillespie coming in here. It's getting to be a little more balanced. It'll take a long time before it's ever exactly balanced in with football and basketball, but it's becoming a sport of note here. Well, to give some validity to what you're saying, I believe now the five biggest crowds in Texas A&M basketball history have all been in the two years that Billy Gillespie has been the head coach here. Certainly they built this beautiful new arena. Now with their practice facility adding to the prestige that they have with this fine facility, they can no longer be accused of neglecting basketball in any shape, form, or fashion. There's a try inside by Carter. He'll try it again off the box and rolls it home. Nice job Carter. by Carter, not known as a physical player, but stayed with it right there. He's got four. And of course, the women's program here is extremely strong. Oh, what a great Gary job. Uh, yeah, Gary Blair has done terrific. They're ranked high in the nation. Aggie men are 12th in the nation. I think the Aggie ladies are somewhere in that same vicinity. vicinity. Kia Core hits. That's a three, his first of the year. So the first of his career. Law, and he is grabbed by Brown. 
Tell you, Kia Core is really a nice looking prospect to be just a freshman with that size and can shoot the ball on the perimeter. He's a very good player. We might mention one of St. Louis's better players, Justin Johnson, a 6'8 senior who started many games last year, is out with a shoulder injury until early December, so they're not at full strength by any stretch of the imagination. Aggies win bound. Again, uh, St. Louis fans at Houston will be visiting Saturday, next Saturday. Well, you you, you uh, St. Louis fans, you want to see a fast-paced basketball team, go see Tom Pender's uh, Houston Cougars. They get up and down. Up there. Well, there's a three by Carter. And, of course, the Aggies' next game will also be a home game here against Idaho State next Saturday. Coach Gillespie told me before the game he was going to give his team tomorrow and Tuesday off after playing three consecutive days, so I'm sure that will be a well-deserved respite. The Yukis rolls it out, tried to follow it. He may have followed it enough to jump, but he knocked out by the Aggies. Interior man. The Yukis is a much better player than what we've seen here this afternoon, Greg. He, he wouldn't have been invited to the NBA pre-draft camp last spring if he wasn't a talent. Of course, he pulled out of the draft, but uh, he was thought of well enough by the NBA scouts to get an invite for that prestigious event. Bob down inside to Jones. Can't get it. Slapped the win. The Yukis picks off the rebound with help from teammates. Danny Brown. Is it off to Liddell. Keokor tries to post down low. Liddell still has it. Wants to lock it. Keokor picks up a triple to Liddell. Fall away 12-footer. That'll be off left for the rebound to Carter. 5.33 to go in the game. As Kavaloskis is in play. He's calling up for that one. His team leads by 27. The Aggies will bring Brand Davis back in. And Jones will get a rest. You mentioned Brian Davis coming back into in high school by his uncle, Barry Davis, who's now a member of the Texas A&M basketball staff. Barry Davis in the Texas A&M Athletic Hall of Fame. He was a star player under Shelby Metcalf back in the 70s. He's over there on the bench today. Had a chance to say hello. Outstanding player. I had to coach against him. I'll tell you, he was plenty tough. <laughs> Brown tried to penetrate and ran into traffic. The Aggies come off with a rebound. AC Law with the pass off into the corner to Kirk. There's Kavalaska sitting in the screen. And the roll off of it. I'm going to take it to the basket. Brown, I believe, was that. Well, AC Law sees a crack and he's gone very quick. Keep using that word every time I say A.C. Law's name. There's just no way you can not associate it with the youngster. He's jet quick, and he knows how to use it. Long for his 23rd and 24th points at the foul line, 57-30. The Aggies have the advantage. They led at halftime 34-13. They'll get one more. Just a couple free throws in this game. That's rare. There you see A.C. Law splitting that Billiken defense once again. For the Aggies. Now the Aggies will spring. And Elu Ilonu into the game for Kavaloskis. And Kavaloskis played a nice game here this afternoon. Played with lots of energy. Did a good job not only scoring, but passing the ball as well. Ilonu is technically from Ailey Felsic High School, but he's from Nigeria. That's where he was born. And now we got some changes. Lish will take a seat. And St. Louis has Adam Norbar, number 43, in the game for the first time. He sets the screen. Drop lead off to Liddell. There's still nowhere to go. They're getting very little effectiveness on their maneuvers, although this time Liddell drew a foul. I really like Liddell. He can do a lot of things. 6 5, very quick. Wiry strong, good rebounder. Mentioned earlier, he had 17 rebounds in one game, practically their opening game of the year. Liddell at the free throw line. Still not in double figures for this game. He's got a couple of rebounds here, and he still has it as he misses that one. He'll get one more. St. Louis U's been picked third in the Atlantic 10 Conference. Very good basketball league. Xavier is picked number one. Yeah, I remember the teams in that league, including St. Louis, were involved in that 
rotation of leagues over a few years ago. They were in the Midwest. Yeah, St. Louis moved exist. over from Conference USA. Conference USA after that. Got a lot of schools in there that have moved around. Xavier, got Temple in there. You got Xavier. Rhode Island University, St. Bonaventure. Are, those are some of the originals. LaSalle. Those are the originals, the ones you last mentioned. It's the Xavier's, the Dayton's, and the St. Louis's that all were in different leagues not too long. George ago. Washington University's in there. Fordham. Spread out quite a bit of the country there. Yeah, it's not much Atlantic. Well, out of the 14, there's four or five that are not really Atlantic. There's a shot by Roland. Second bucket of the game for him. Had that dunk off the break earlier. 60 to 31. Freshman and a uh, senior on the floor for Texas A&M right now. And it's still very, very hard for St. Louis to get any good looks. We got a timeout, 3.44 to play. It is a 60 to 31 advantage. The Aggies. Number one trucks in Texas. With power and payload folks here need. A level of refinement unmatched by any competitor and more trucks on the road with over 250,000 miles than any other brand. Now get a new F-150 Texas Edition with 7,000 cash back or 0% financing for 60 months. Get to your Texas Ford dealer today and make your move. Ford is the best in Texas. Steak, egg, and cheese burrito. Sonic's got it, others don't. A warm flour tortilla stuffed with everything you want for breakfast. It's a hearty way to start your morning. Sonic Steak, Egg, and Cheese Burrito. Try one today with the Sonic Sunrise. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. K&G's Two Suits for $150 event is on. Right now, for a limited time, you can get two selected men's suits for just $150. That's less than the price of one at a department store. K&G Fashion Superstore. For men, for women, for less. FSN Southwest packs in the football this Saturday. It starts at 10 with full coverage of the Bedlam in Oklahoma, followed by college football Saturday kickoff. Then at 1.30, Oklahoma battles Oklahoma State for statewide bragging rights. At 5, Pac-10 rivals Arizona State and Arizona tear up the gridiron. Then wrap up the night with Southwest Football Saturday and that weekly dose of hardcore football. Watch college football this Saturday on FSN Southwest. 344 left, it's 60 to 31. Not a uh, good evening for St. Louis, but here's the interesting thing, or I think significant thing. Their three wins coming in this uh, to this game were very comparable to the three wins that the Aggies had. Uh, averaging 83 points, giving up 63. The Aggies were averaging 83, giving up 56. And including both had very convincing victories in this get together, but AC Law, Joseph Jones, who hasn't bothered to score in the second half, and really needed to, uh, and led the way to this 60 to 31 lead. Sloan to lead. Slide inside, and it's knocked loose uh, from the, the attempt there by Davis. He comes back the other way. Brown slapped against the backboard, but it was on the way up by Ilona, so it's a block. Here's Lee, brings it across into the corner. <laughs> has it back. Sloan gives it off to Davis. This is Lee. They want to go inside. A little wrestling match there between Nolmeyer. Have a chance to look at this nice block by Brian Davis on the last. Oh, that was the uh, junior Alanu there. That was the uh, red shirt freshman who came in on that block, known as a terrific leaper. I mentioned once again, St. Louis University last night set a school record with 12 block shots in their game against Lamar University. Lee dumps it down. That was almost a backward shot by Alone who gets the rebound back out to Sloan. Sloan has set the screen as a big one, gets it back on the roll, puts it up, and he's fouled. The foul is on. Nice job by Donald Sloan right the there, penetrating to the elbow kicking it down to Alanu good teamwork Alanu shaped up well right on the block all greater 
Houston is a high school senior. He was here last year. He was a red shirt. So this is his first season of action for yeah, the He Aggies. originally signed with New Mexico State University, but uh, decided to come to Texas A&M and redshirted last year. Aggie coaching staff thinks there are bright days ahead for this youngster. Very athletic. That's at 6'10", 220. Chinamelu Olanu. They call him Junior for That's a reason. That's a good idea. <laughs> He gets neither one, and the rebound comes down to St. Louis. Oh my. This is Brown. Davis with the rebound. And he's back the other way. Sloan gets it on, gets it off to the big man on top, gets it back. Tries to lob it to the corner. Davis tracks it down. 2.14 to play in the ball game. Aggie's going to go 4-0. St. Louis will drop off to 3-1. and one. Well, This is going to rebound. Comes down to Nolmeyer. Here comes St. Louis the other way. This is Liddell. Inside two minutes. Liddell hits it. He was hoping to get more than that. They got the basket. He's up to 11 points. And quickly on the other end of Lee. Nice assist by Sloan there, seeing Lee filling the outside lane in transition very nicely for the Aggies. Shot outside won't go by Brown. Tracked out in the corner, and they're not quitting. Both these teams are hustling. He goes out of bounds. He was last touched by Dustin McGuire. Now Davis. Let's take a look at uh, Tommy Liddell's last bucket for the Billikens. Actually fouled on the play. Makes a nice strong move into the paint. Just jumps over Derek Rowland. Terrific job right there. Nice finish. Good concentration. Tommy Liddell, a preseason second team all Atlantic 10 selection. Logan Lee. Going around to Rowland. Cross court to Sloan, 18 on the shot clock. Aggies continuing nice ball movement as they have had throughout the contest. Wilbach fakes it, throws it back out to Lee, who slings it inside to the long new with a quick. How about that little jump hook over a tough St. Louis defense right there? Nice move by the red shirt freshman. He played in the two of the first three games and averaged seven points, got in the lead in this one. That's his first basket. Less than a minute. Clock will stop as the ball goes out of bounds off the arms of Horace Dixon. The Aggies will inbound on the far end, 64-33. They'll need to take one shot as the shot clock and the game clock are about seven seconds apart. Alonu on the pass over to Sloan. Off the screen, rolling. Give to Alonu. Triple team on him. Lee for three. He rolls it home. What a nice kick out there by Lanu. Good balance up, ready to shoot. Quick release by Logan Lee. He's a nice addition to this Aggie basketball team. Had an injured knee last year. Couldn't play after transferring from the University of Hawaii. Dixon. Seven seconds. Take away. Aggies don't need to score. Here's what they may try it, and they will. There's high school teammate, the high school teammate, Derek Rowland to Donald Sloan. Sloan has four points, and that'll do it. It's all over. The Aggies have defeated the Billikens by a 69-33 to score. And I will tell you this, I don't believe the Billikens will have a game this score all year. They're going to have a good season, but tonight was not the night. Meanwhile, the Aggies roll on to their fourth victory with a 66-39 to final. We'll be back, and we'll have some activity from the court. Jim Haller making his way out there. That's all coming up. Don't go away.